What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Roads Untraveled. We have for you guys today another POV video. Here in front of us is the all new 2021 Acura TLX A Spec. So, as you can see, we've got an A Spec badge over there, and it is a completely redesigned car. This shares no parts uh, with the Accord like the old one did. Uh, and as you can see, as we walk around to the rear here, we've got our DSLR set up. Uh, the rear hips of this car much different than the outgoing model and the rear end as well. Um, it is actually wider overall and the track width is wider as well as the wheelbase is about 3.7 inches longer in total. It does have SH all-wheel drive um, and we're just going to go for a bit of a drive. We have our full review if you want to check that out. It will be on our channel if it isn't out already but for now let's step inside start the car and go for a bit of a drive. So it's got a two liter inline four under the hood. It is a kind of an iteration on the K20A. I believe it's a down tuned version of effectively what is in the Civic Type R. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, it is a K20A turbo engine. We're going to do this entire POV video in sport mode. We're going to hit this drive button down here that puts our transmission into sport and then hit the paddles and we're in manual mode. You can see our boost gauge on the left there, G meter on the right there, if you wanna pay attention to those. And uh, brakes off, let's go for a drive. We'll start with a little zero to 100 kilometers an hour run here. I'll actually put the transmission back into automatic so it'll just shift for ourselves. Let's go. Two hundred and seventy two horsepower, two hundred and eighty pound feet of torque. Now the Type S version is coming, I'm sure, as some of you guys have heard. Uh, that'll have a turbocharged V6 putting out about 355 horsepower. So the ultimate enthusiast version of the TLX is coming, but not for another few months here. I believe it will go on sale in the spring. It's got a 10 speed automatic transmission, fairly responsive, um, definitely on the upshifts more so. On the downshift, it still kind of has a little bit of a lethargic feel. It doesn't have those real quick, crisp, blips on the downshift. Really sharp turn in. It's got variable ratio electronic assisted power steering. Great turn in, it has all wheel drive, super handling all wheel drive. This is the fourth generation SH all wheel drive from Acura. Um, and in the full review, like I'll go into further detail, but in short, this can send up to 70% of the torque to the rear wheels. So if you see me powering out of a car, if you see me powering out of a corner a little bit harder than you think I would be able to do in some of the older front wheel drive Acuras then you are absolutely right. If you're wondering about the sound in sport mode, Acura does kind of pump in a little bit of a, an augmented exhaust noise into the cabin here. It's not overwhelming. In fact, it's pretty conservative as far as fake audio goes, fake exhaust audio in cars that we've driven. Um, but again, turbo four is just, you really gotta work to make them sound halfway decent. Um, and the TLX sounds fine. It just 
You know, it's no inline six, it's no V8, but you guys get that. You've got power, basically the entire rev band. The turbo spools up incredibly quickly. I believe that 280 pound feet of torque, that figure, I believe comes in that peak number before 2000 RPM which is quite ridiculous. You will see that a lot in these new new turbo cars, which makes me very happy to see VTEC really putting in work at the higher end of the rev band, because then what that means is basically just a much more well-rounded power band altogether. Before we hit these last corners here, I have to say Acura makes one of the best enthusiast kind of sports steering wheels um, on the market. Uh, absolutely right up there with the AMG wheels and the M wheels, in my opinion, as far as ergonomics go. I mean, back there, the downshift was was delayed and it didn't downshift until mid corner. So with in, in a car with transmission tuning that is able to really hit that aggressive downshift blip, then you can way more accurately predict your downshifts in an aggressive driving scenario. Um, and again, we're not on the track here. It's, it's a very small, very small complaint. I could have downshifted uh, either not at all and just stayed in third or downshifted uh, a little bit earlier and kind of entered the corner a little bit earlier. But the car's good. The car's really good. Again, watch our full review. I really go in depth, but the, the turn in is what you kind of would expect from a front wheel drive bias kind of car, chassis setup. Uh, but the exit, you know, it takes a second for that rear end to settle. But once it does, you have a lot of confidence in the grip when you're exiting a corner because it can send up to 70% of torque to the rear. So it is, it's really quite something, especially after driving, you know, uh, the original TSX when it was kind of new, right when I got my license back in high school, I drove kind of the 08, 09 WRX and the TSX uh, of the late 2000s. And to see where Acura is going now is, I mean, where they've come in 10 years is absolutely remarkable. And I like the direction they're going. They're, they really do still have that enthusiast mind at the higher end of their luxury sports brand, which is, of course, Acura, which I just, I love. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. Again, watch the full review, but very good. Very good. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick POV perspective of this brand new 2021 Acura TLX A spec. So it's been a good drive. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these POV videos. We're still perfecting this setup right here. As you guys can see, it's not perfect, but I promise within the next two or three POV videos, we are going to improve our POV perspective uh, and we're buying a couple new cameras as well. So the quality of these videos will uh, continue to improve, but we're gonna start with the POV videos of the press cars because we do have a lot of these coming, um, but we will as well 
do POV videos more often with the big horsepower modified stuff too. So again, it's really getting into the, the winter here. So that stuff will be um, a little bit less on the channel for the winter, but I'm talking when we get back into the spring season and the summer season, look out for a lot of exciting, unique POV videos in some really spectacular cars. So hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time.